Dry point is a printmaking technique of the Intaglio family, in which an image is incised into a plate, or matrix, with a hard pointed needle of sharp metal or a diamond point. Traditionally the plate was copper, but now acetate, zinc, or plexiglass are also commonly used. Like etching, dry point is easier for an artist trained in drawing to master than engraving as the technique of using the needle is closer to using a pencil than the engraver's boron. The term is also used for inkless scratched inscriptions, such as glosses and manuscripts. Lines and burrs The lines produced by printing a dry point are formed by the burr thrown up at the edge of the incised lines, in addition to the depressions formed in the surface of the plate. A larger burr, formed by a steep angle of the tool will hold a lot of ink, producing a characteristically soft, dense line that differentiates dry point from other entire methods such as etching or engraving which produce a smooth, hard-edged line. The size or characteristics of the burr usually depend not on how much pressure is applied, but on the angle of the needle. A perpendicular angle will leave little to no burr, while the smaller the angle gets to either side the larger the burr pile up. The deepest dry point lines leave enough burr on either side of them that they prevent the paper from pushing down into the center of the stroke, creating a feathery black line with a fine, white center. A lighter line may have no burr at all, creating a very fine line in the final print by holding very little ink. This technique is different from engraving in which the incisions are made by removing metal to form depressions in the plate surface which hold ink, although the two methods can easily be combined, as Rembrandt often did. Because the pressure of printing quickly destroys the burr, dry point is useful only for comparatively small additions, as few as 10 or 20 impressions with burr can be made, and after the burr has gone. The comparatively shallow lines will wear out relatively quickly. Most impressions of Rembrandt prints on which dry point was used show no burr, and often the dry point lines are very weak, leaving the etched portions still strong. To counter this and allow for longer print runs, electroplating, called steel fissing by printmakers, can harden the surface of a plate and allow the same addition size as produced by etchings and engravings. History The technique appears to have been invented by the Hausbuch master, a South German 15th century artist, all of whose prints are in dry point only. Among the most famous artists of the old master print Albrecht Dürer produced three dry points before abandoning the technique. Rembrandt used it frequently, but usually in conjunction with etching and engraving. As in Tayo techniques, they can all be used on the same plate. Alex Katz used this process to create several of his famous works, such as Sonny and the Swimmer. In the 20th century many artists produced dry points, including Max Beckman, Milt Navery, and Herman Paul. By adding aquatint work on the plate and inking with various colors, artists such as Mary Cassatt have produced color dry points. Canadian artist David Brown Milne is credited as the first to produce color dry points by the use of multiple plates, one for each color. On the west coast of the United States the respected printmaker, Pedro Joseph de Limos, simplified the methods for producing dry points in art schools. Thank <laughs> you.